We haven't seen a smash hit app like Pokemon Go in a long time. When it was released, the smartphone game topped the app charts and sent people like me scurrying outside in search of mythical Pokemon creatures. But how easy is it to develop apps? Can anybody really code? Maybe we should be searching for coders and not Pokemon creatures. We know organizations like Code.org and CodeAcademy.com are all in on the idea that everyone should and can learn to code. And tech companies are working hard to find a new generation of coders. However, a Gallup research report published in 2015 paints a bleak picture of US schools, showing that currently only one in four offer computer programming or coding classes. Consequently, nine out of 10 parents want their kids to learn how to code. So tech companies are taking coding into their own hands, literally. At WWDC 2016, Apple announced Swift Playgrounds, a free iPad app based on open source Swift programming. Did Apple just launch the best way to teach anyone to code? Can everyone really code? We are a diverse team of humanities and education professors at Westchester University in Pennsylvania, interested in helping prepare current and future teachers for the classroom of the future, which will most likely include elements of coding. So using the Swift Playgrounds app, and the accompanying lessons, we've designed a study that asks questions about coding and literacy. And at South by Southwest EDU, we will share a first glimpse of the results of this study.